Hi there, my name is Matthew McFarlane. I'm a product manager at GitLab covering the wiki. And today I'm excited to reveal some improvements um, that will be released in GitLab version 17.1. If you have any questions regarding the wiki, please feel free to reach out to myself via email. You can also comment on any related wiki issues um, or epics, and you can also read through documentation um, online. Here's just a glimpse into our documentation, which we are continuously updating as we uh, release new improvements to the product. I would first like to thank the UX Paper Cuts team here at GitLab for the significant improvements they've helped enable this milestone, um, and I'm excited to highlight some of these. One of the new improvements that I'll highlight is using a new repository clone button in wikis. Um, so previously, we had, a, had an old version of this, of our clone panel, and so we were able to update that to our new clone panel, which is also used in projects and snippets. So that will give some familiarity between folks using projects and snippets today. We also adjusted the location of the delete button, uh, making it more efficient um, and less time consuming to find that option if you are in fact looking to delete or remove a wiki page. Another improvement we made is ensuring that empty wiki pages are valid. Previously, you did have to have some type of text in the body um, of the wiki page, but we recognize that that's not always the workflow people uh, want or require. Um, and sometimes they do want placeholder pages. And so we went ahead and enabled the ability to have empty wiki, wiki pages as valid. So here is an up-to-date uh, wiki as an example. This is the rich text editor roadmap, which my team also owns. Um, you can see on the side here, um, if you click into wiki actions here, you'll see uh, the new delete page location, as well as a printed PDF, a page history, a clone repository, that's where, you're, where you'll see that new panel, a templates option, as well as a new page. If you click into the new page here, you'll notice that all you'll need now is a title. So new page without any text. And you'll see, you can just create that page. In addition, you can now view all pages here and see a comprehensive list. Something I also enjoy as a product manager is viewing page history. So if we go back to the rich text editor roadmap here and look into page history, you can now view versions easily or more uh, comprehensively. Um, before this was a string of numbers and this just feels a little bit more easy to consume. Now there are numerous other capabilities uh, included within uh, the GitLab Wiki, including the diagrams.net integration that I hope you'll explore and give a chance. Um, as we continue to improve and develop this area, please reach out with any feedback, uh, questions, concerns, or um, if you find any bugs, please let us know as well. Um, we're really excited to continue to improve this area within the product. Thank you.